Are you one of those idiots that basically think a side crunch or a side oblique crunch is how to engage your lat properly? Let's look at it the proper way and get into a position that is actually gonna up your sternum so you can actually retract your shoulder blade um, in a proper way to engage the lat. So what I mean by that is basically when, they, when they're coming down, they're doing kind of like a forward crunch with this. Um, realistically, all you're doing is you're flexing your lats. You're not really engaging it that much. So to engage your lats, it's, it's all on like stretch and squeeze. But to engage your lats, if you get to think, like it, it's your back. So it's all attached to your scapula. So your scapula has to come out. You feel the full stretch, but your scapula has to retract. So there has to be some sort of retraction going on. And if I'm in a crunch position, I'm not really retracting. I'm just pulling my elbow down. So as you can see, there's no retraction of my shoulder blade. So there's elbow coming down, which is fine, but there's no retraction of the shoulder. So the shoulder's not coming back. So realistically, you're doing an oblique. You're doing an oblique crunch and flexing your lat down. So there's no engagement per se to a lat. So if, if you really want to do it correctly, you have to up your sternum, which everyone knows, to get the full flex, you have to up your sternum. But also when you're, like your shoulder has to come back, your shoulder has to retract and your chest has to stay up. So shoulder out, full flexed and the shoulder back. So just me doing that, there's your back retraction. So your shoulder blade is retracting back, your chest is still up. But for me to do that in this position, so I'm not, I would have to, I'd have to be on this angle to do it like that, not this angle. So to this angle, you can physically see what I'm doing is I'm doing an oblique crunch. At the end of the day, you wanna do it correctly. So if you wanna do an oblique crunch and just flex your lat all day long, then go right ahead. Let's continue to do it this way. And what you're doing is an oblique crunch. But if you wanna do it in a lat, you gotta pull down. So it's a downward angle. It's up here, so if your angle is here, yeah, I can see you doing an oblique crunch and getting a full stretch and coming back with it. But it's a downward angle, so you're coming down. As this comes down, your chest has to come up. So it's the opposite reaction of a, a press. So when you press, you gotta push your back away. When it's a pull, this comes down, chest goes up. So it's an opposite reaction. So as this comes up, your shoulder blade goes back. And the pulley's up above. It's not out in front. So it's open front, yes, you can have that slight turn and still get your scapula back. But it's up here, so it's gonna be this. So uh, I don't understand it. Like I said, you be you and you do your thing, but in the whole anatomy process, there has, there has to be some sort of scapula retraction to engage the lot at the end of the day. And if you wanna do things wrong, do things wrong. There is other ways to do this. And like I said, there's a thousand different ways to peel an onion. You can do it in a sideward angle. So this kind of changes. So you're getting more of a stretch this way. And then you can kind of, you see that I'm getting kind of incorporation of both. So you can still do it in a fashion. I'm having that sideward bend that they're doing, but I'm also getting that scapular retraction. So full stretch, chest is up, chest stays up, and I'm getting scapular retraction. And look, I'm actually bent over to the side a little bit, just like they are. So it incorporates both. So like I said, there's a thousand different ways to do each exercise, but you got to do it in a way that you're incorporating the muscle that you want to incorporate. So if you're doing a lat pull down, you've got to engage the lat. So think of a way that you can do it the way that you think is proper but incorporate the ways that make the scapula retract. So you're getting the full stretch of the lat and the full squeeze of the lat. So realistically, that's the best of both worlds, but you're not getting this oblique kind of side cross bend. I don't know what you want to call it, but 
you're not really engaging in the lab because there's no scapular retraction.